Welcome back to a part two edition of Eat My Shorts. Today, we discuss my morning rant and the weird email I got from YouTube. Apparently, their outreach team is concerned about some of the comments that I made. Of course, this is just purely an opinion channel, and it's not like I'm actually a real broken news outlet or anything like that. But it's funny. You're always being watched. They, they know who you are, they know what you're doing, they know what you're saying, they know why you're doing it and saying it. Everybody is always watching you. And this just goes back to my point this morning about this nanny state we live in with cell phones ruling people's lives and, and, and convenience and how it's made people soft. You know, the world is not meant for people that are strong and independent anymore. The world is made for people that are joiners and that are kneelers and that do what they're told. And... This is just kind of another piece in the puzzle, man. This is, you know, it's, there's broken news right now that, that missiles attack a grain silo and everything else. And, of course, everybody's going down that damn rabbit hole. They're ignoring the fact this is happening in the middle of a war zone. So the news is literally reporting that something happened in a war zone. What the fuck do they think is going to happen? Do they think people are going to drop trow and grab each other by the junk with their left hand and do the circle jerk? This isn't the Boy Scouts, okay? People are going to get hurt. People are going to get killed. You know, this is what happens in a war. Casualties happen. Destruction of property happens. And loss of livelihood and limbs happen, you know? These things happen. Harsh words happen in nature, too. And... And the sooner that we realize we live in a soft society full of soft people, the better. Because the faster we can change it. And right now, the way things are going, you know, I predicted on Monday, which was yesterday, that everybody would be apeshit by the middle of the week about some little fantastic Freddy false flag thing that was going to go on. And there was one yesterday in Turkey. The big chicken, Right. They're having a big old fit about some attack there. And now there's another thing going on. By Friday, they'll forget what the fuck happened Monday. And then they'll forget what happened Friday last and so on. Meanwhile, inflation's going up. Their income's going down at the same time. Their buying power is out the window. And basically everything from their old life they had two or three years ago is going to be gone. Just a piece of the puzzle to a time. You know, you're going to start losing things. Your, your heating bills are going to go up. Your, your fuel bills are going to go up. Your water, your sewer, your trash, your rent, your car payments, your bank loans, your interest. It's all going to go up. But nobody's talking about those things. Nobody's talking about, you know, the supply chain and how fragile it is right now. And how there's an increase in panic buying at every turn in the corner because everybody in the preparedness community, instead of thinking rationally as of late is just plain panicking and the average person can tell that you can see what they're doing you know and at the end of the day all we can do is our best but laying down in the middle of the day taking a nap when I was cold seemed to help because I felt like shit this morning when I woke up that plague my mother brought home just fucking wiped me out and I slept all night the night before and yet here I am Woke up from another nap. Feels like I didn't even sleep last night. I don't even remember going to sleep in the chair. I was just tired and I went to bed. And good God. You know. My body must be trying to tell me something. You know, ever since the old man's been gone, the adrenaline's been gone. And it makes things difficult. But, you know, one thing I've learned is, is the more things change, the more things don't change at all. You know. And that's what we're going to have to see. We're, we're going to see it more and more every day. That It's going to be more of the same fucking story every day. And they're going to keep spinning it as like it's some brand new thing. This has happened since the dawn of time and it'll keep happening. And that's the big takeaway from this is don't get your underwear in a wad about this. Just go about your business and have a good day and do what you're going to do.